both Prom and I have a commonality in our artwork, which is stemming or rooting ourselves in a classical dance form, but expanding that form to make it more relevant to the reality that we live in, to the things that we care about, to the world, you know, that's now and not just retelling ancient stories, but making those stories, you know, real for the people who live them today. What Brum have been doing, it's so important, especially for those young generations who are living inside or outside Cambodia. Uh, his work is really informed about how we look at problem from our own perspective. And to tap on the, the, the gender, to tap on every other aspect or social issues right now by using the classical dance as a medium to talk about it is a very, very smart way. For Prum to be stepping inside this complex form to engage with uh, quite complex issues um, makes, makes great sense. And because Prum innovates at the nexus of performance and social justice issues, he has a platform from which to make a difference in the world. So in 2010, I performed at Red Cat, and Red Cat is the premier venue for experimental performance here in Los Angeles. And during that performance, Claudio Valdez Curi, who was an artist in residence at CalArts, saw me dancing. From that moment, we really connected, and he invited me to come and choreograph for his new opera, Life is a Dream. I was talking with him that um, it will be important to him to be exposed to different uh, audiences. I think that he's quite mature, quite original or unique. So he has to do a work to expose and to have this dialogue because each, each um, audience gives you different things. So I think it's the next step for him. Because I was coming down to Mexico City, Claudio had asked me if I wanted to perform or to do a lecture demonstration and I of course jumped up on the opportunity. <laughs> um, so I will, uh, while I'm in while I'm down in Mexico City, I'm going to um, be doing a lecture demonstration in which I uh, perform an excerpt of Beloved. <laughs> 